Hello again, everyone. We are still talking about uh, one's own personal inner cultural environment. And uh, I tell a story uh, around page 186 about a family called Weisers and how they very courageously uh, convinced somebody to drop his very, very hateful um, posture. He was a member of a, a hate group, actually and uh, renounce all of that. And I focus on it. His name was Larry Trapp. And I focus on a very important uh, observation that Larry is able to make. Let me just read it to you. So he is talking about his former associates in the Klan. And he says, I denounce everything they stood for. But it's not the people in the organization that I hate. If I were to say I hate all Klansmen because they're Klansmen, I would still be a racist. So he was able to penetrate, and he had no background whatever in nonviolence, quite the opposite. He was able to penetrate into the core principle of nonviolence, which is, uh, as Barbara Deming used to say, I will not cooperate with your injustice, but I am open to you as a human being. So that's an important distinction Larry Trapp was able to make. I'd like to just add on another story here that we heard recently from friends of ours who work with an organization called Meta Peace Teams. These are people who, you know, they just wear a yellow vest or T-shirt and they go out into intense and possibly very tense events where there might be fisticuffs and they are trained monitors and interposers to keep the peace and the police have even come to respect and admire what they do. Well, on this occasion, there was somebody who had racist tattoos all over his body. There are people who hate racists and are not as clever as Larry Trapp. So they attacked this guy and, and hit him over the head with a bottle and he fell to the ground unconscious and immediately the Meta Peace team came to, onto the scene to protect him from being killed by this anti-racist crowd. They picked him up and walked him to a waiting ambulance. As he was getting into the ambulance, one of the members of the Meta Peace team said, I just want you to know that your life was saved today by a Jew, a communist, a homosexual. He himself was not in a position to speak, but his girlfriend was with him. And she was very shaken, very moved, and she said, you know, I have hated you people all my life, but now I'm beginning to see you have the same blood in your veins as we do. So that's another story of the remarkable capacity for conversion and re-seeing and rediscovering of our humanity that can be brought about, for example, by deliberate nonviolent intervention. Thanks again and until next time.